Hey guys, it's PC Purs, and I'm back for another episode of A Dancer Reviews, where a dancer, me, is going to talk about how we see polls showing up in pop culture today in film, television, music videos, movies, etc. And um, if you don't know me, I'm PC Purs. I am a pole dance instructor, competitor, dancer, all that and the third, and I love all things to do with polls. So if you do too, then come on in and join me. Let's talk about it. So we're on episode two of P Valley. Is this two or four? Whatever. We're on episode two of P Valley. And um, so the auditions are going down at the pink. We see all the girls lined up in their shoes outside the club. And I mean, this is just hilarious to me. They did something like that last season. I'm like, nobody shows up to the club in the shoes already ready, just posted up in a stripper outfit. You're going to show up in regular clothes. And audition, depending on the type of club, you know, you'll either show up looking like, you wanna show up looking like a snack, like in a cute little dress, maybe some heels, your hair and makeup done. It doesn't have to be like super, super crazy, but you wanna look presentable, you wanna look pretty, but not in those clothes. Like, I don't know, let me know if you've ever known people to do that, but that's kind of dangerous to just be walking around like that. So the auditions happen. Some of the girls dance really, really well. Some are not so good. Some have lots of theatrics like Swallow and Fire. I mean, we're seeing a whole lot of things. One of the new characters that we get introduced to is Miracle Watts. So she's on the show now. Shout outs to her, she's so cute. So then Uncle Clifford talks to the girls and gives them a speech about being chosen. And Mercedes has a hand in this. So she picks two girls that she thinks are really strong, which are uh, Whisper and Roulette. And then Autumn chooses Miracle Watts, Big Bone. And she couldn't dance. I mean, she oh, she did the booty twerk thing, you know? And Mercedes is all about technique and skill. So she's not happy about this choice at all. But <sighs> Autumn is like, the visuals are on point. She's going to get us some money. So we're going to hire this chick. And that's how it is sometimes. It's not always about skill. So sometimes girls are like, I want to dance, but I need to take classes and I need to do this and I need to do that. And honestly, all you really need to do is just show up and have your look together. And a lot of times you'll get hired off of that. I mean, you can try to finesse and say you worked somewhere else before, but eh. I mean, honestly, just choose your club wisely and just show up looking the part and you'll figure everything out on, you know, on your own once you're there. But you really don't need to be able to do the most impressive tricks and things like that to get hired in a club or to dance in one. But we'll talk more about that another time. So then we jump back to Mississippi and her man. And, you know, she thought she was slick with the whole pamper thing. She got out the house, but she got caught. So now he's mad and he's called the sheriff. And she's realized that he didn't get this new job. So she knows he's going to be upset. And when he's speaking to the sheriff, you know, she doesn't blame Diamond, but she gives her husband just enough, her boyfriend just enough so that he won't be so mad at her. And so she can use this to her advantage. So then Mercedes, you know, she's got to get the girls together. She got to get them in formation. So she's meeting with the new girls and she's trying to teach them a teddy into a split. And, you know, they, they call her old and piss her off. <laughs> and then Autumn and Uncle Cliff meet with Andre and Corbin, and they're trying to get her to sell the pink for half a million dollars. But Autumn, we know, is in the finance, and she's like, listen, I want $10 million. And they're trying to tell her why she won't get it, and she's saying, listen, this property is the last one that you guys don't own, so she she has the power in this situation, and they know it. So she's letting them know, uh-uh-uh, I'm not selling unless I get what I'm demanding, so... They're saying that she's playing hardball and they didn't they didn't estimate that she was going to be that intelligent. I don't think they probably knew, but I don't think anybody was expecting that $10 million offer, not offer, request. Uh, let's see if she gets it. But either way, Uncle Clifford says he's not selling. So then, of course, Cliff and Autumn get into it because not only is she talking about, you know, selling, but she moved up the opening date of the paint to like a week earlier than it's supposed to be. And it's Uncle Clifford's birthday. And then he delivers my favorite line of the episode. And he's like, I'm too much of a cat to be fucked by a kid. <laughs> I hear that. And she is doing a lot, but you know, everything can't be about what's comfortable for Mercedes. Oh, we don't want to move it up to a thin Mercedes, but 
Things got to get cracking. They got to get this money. She is a little insensitive, though. So, I mean, eh. So then we get some more funniness because Mercedes' mom pops out the car and she does her own little remix to Where the Money Reside. <laughs> and she saying Where the Blessings Reside or something like that. And it was just real cute. Another one of my favorite scenes, Uncle Clifford and his grandma. And they just talking shit. And, you know, <laughs> Uncle Clifford is talking about how he hasn't had any in five years. The grandma's like, try 25 years. And it's just nice to see their relationship. She's very open. She talks to him about everything. She got her own past. I would love to have more about her past. But then Lil Murder comes to visit Uncle Clifford. And Grandma opens the door. So then we have my favorite scene of this episode. It's great for so many reasons. Because... It takes place at a doorway and grandma opens the door and little murder is there. And we've got grandma here at the door in front of the door is little murder. And he can see through a mirror behind the door, uncle Clifford reacting to what he's saying, but he knows that uncle Clifford still isn't ready to talk to him and that he's kind of intruding. So he stand there and he has a conversation with grandma, but in that conversation, he's really talking to Cliff. And so he can see how, whenever he says something, how it affects Cliff. And he just lets him know that he's still there. And on his way out, he taps the door because, you know, like, and you see it affect Clifford, like it touches him. But of course, grandma knows when her baby's there. So as soon as Clifford walks out the door, she's like, boy, you talking about ain't getting no dick and Amazon just dropped it off at your door. I'm like, grandma. Grandma is popping. I love I love feisty grandmas. But it was it was great to be. We're looking through a doorway at an intimate moment of their lives. And it's just so cool. Like the the three layers of it and then the three layers of what they each know, what they're presenting that they know, and then what they actually know, what they're saying and what they're actually saying, who they're speaking to and who they're actually speaking to. And it's just such a rich conversation, just such a rich interaction. It was shot so well. So if that that scene spoke to you, oh my God, say something in the comments below because, oh my heart. But let's keep going. Then we jump back to Andre and um, he's going through old paperwork and having interactions with the neighbors. And he realizes that Tyda was doing some like sketch stuff to help out people in the neighborhood. And then um, he watches some old videos of him encouraging him when he was a child to just be great. And so we know something's brewing in his mind. Okay, so then is the scene where Miss Mississippi's boyfriend finds the Pampers. And he's like going off on her about trying to leave to go see um, Diamond. But then she lets him know that, you know, when she saw Diamond at the store, it was an accident. They got into a fight. So that's when he calls to like say that Diamond needs to lose his job. And she agree she gets him to agree to let her go on tour. So she kind of plays that to her advantage. I'm like, girl, why didn't you throw them pampers out? Then we have Lil Murder riding in a gold hearse to go pick his friend up from jail. So it was like, who is this new friend? And what is this about to be about? And the gold hearse was popping though. <laughs> so then the manager goes to talk to Miss Mississippi to try to convince her to do the tour. And she's listening, you know, she's pretty faced. So they're thinking, you know, they can get over on her. Like, you know, come along. Then she's like, hold up. Everything that I'm doing would be paying for this tour. Like my endorsements, my this, my that, my, my like, y'all need me. So y'all gonna give me a better cut than what you're trying to offer. So point to Miss Mississippi. That's what's up. Cause she's not just pretty. She's very smart, except for when it comes to men. Then Uncle Clifford, gets kidnapped by masked people. And it seems like it's happening while grandma is watching TV and laughing. And at the same time, Autumn is in control of the pink and you know, it's opening night and things are just going wrong left and right. Like literal fires are happening that she's trying to put out. So then it's revealed that it's actually Cliff's friends that kidnapped him to take him to his birthday party, which is at a skating rink. And you know, it's just good to see Clifford's friends and Uncle Cliff having a good time. And it's really cute. And at the same time, we see Mercedes trying to teach the new girls some tricks on the aerial pole. And this spiritual girl, um, Whisper, is trying to get the girls to like ask questions to the pole. And then there's some more mysterious stuff going on with the pole and when, and, uh, why do I keep wanting to call her Whisper? Whisper <laughs> picks up on it. So when we see Uncle Cliff, Cliff is telling his friends like 
He's still stuck on Lil Murder. And they're just telling him, you know, go after him. Don't, don't stop ignoring him and stuff like that. And Uncle Clifford's like, I don't know. And he tells one of his, you know, he's just having a little conversation with his friends. They're really cute. And um, he gets head from <laughs> this guy that looks like Lil Murder. And then we see Mercedes and she's on stage with the new girls. And things just don't go so well. So the two new girls are doing all types of cute tricks. One of the tricks I did in my competition routine, I should do, a, I'm, I'm going to leave a link to my competition routine so you guys can see it. And then tell me if you know what it is, which trick it is. And um, Mercedes tries to get everyone's attention and then she falls off the pole. <sighs> that is horrible. I've actually seen someone fall off the pole and I know of someone else falling off the pole. It's not, depending on how far you fall, it, it's very dangerous. It's not a pretty sight. It's very scary. I've slid down from the top, but I've never like had a bad accident on the pole. Thank God so far, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, I can only imagine how terrifying that would be. So Mercedes wakes up, Uncle Clifford is there, um, Diamond is there, Autumn is there. And so he starts talking to her about her shoulder and he works some roots on her and pulls out seven pounds uh, of weight from her shoulder. And they say that's about the weight of the gun that she used. So Mercedes is, is pissed off at Autumn and it's like, okay, we're definitely going with the spiritual route this season. Okay. But Mercedes is pissed and she tells Autumn, you got to get out like right now. You can't come back tonight even like it's over for you. <laughs> and Mississippi's boyfriend didn't get his job. So this is the first time we see any manipulation. Well, I guess we saw some with the pamper thing, but we see her using like her feminine wiles to get him to do whatever she wanted. And it's she's had to plant little seeds the entire time. You know, Diamond did this. And the Pampers are, wait, the Pampers are missing. Diamond did this. You know, things will be better when you get the job. Oh, since he did this, you know, I helped you out and we got him fired. You know, let me go out on the road and take care of you and put it down on you. She gets him to convince her. She convinces him to let her go on the road. So all that works out in her favor. But when we jump back to Autumn, she had to spend the night in the paint because she didn't have anywhere to go. But I'm like, girl, you ain't got enough money to go get a hotel. I don't quite understand why she had to stay in the paint. But all right, so she's at the paint and she's playing on the poles a little bit. And Andre comes in and they hug. And then we end the episode with Mississippi texting murder like it's on. We on tour. So our tutorial for today, I figured I would show you guys how to do a teddy. The teddy is uh, the move that Mercedes was showing the other girls how to do. It's a really cool trick to learn because it's an impressive trick that doesn't involve inverting. You just gotta squeeze. So you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. So just follow me to the pole. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do a teddy, which stands for a teddy bear because this pose looks like a teddy bear. And it looks like it's gonna be easy, but it's actually not. You're gonna feel it a lot underneath your armpit. Um, it's gonna feel like it's pulling your skin, ripping it. So it's not a pleasant feeling, but it is a very cute pose. And then there are some variations that you can do. So of course, I'm gonna take you through some uh, prep work for it. And then we're gonna work on our teddy. So again, you wanna review your knee tucks and your leg raises from a tuck position. That's gonna help you get prepared for your teddy. So once again, you know, you can check out my previous tutorials on those so once you work on that then you want to work on the hold so I suggest you try it from the ground first from the ground without the mat is a lot safer but I still suggest you use a mat so let's go grab one okay so the mat is open so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice coming into our teddy position. So it's similar to when we were doing our leg raises, you're gonna walk your hips in front of the pole and then you're gonna tuck your hips and you're gonna reach your inside arm down and you're gonna reach for the inside of your thigh. When you're first learning it, you can keep your outside arm still on here, but eventually you're gonna to wanna to hook this one underneath the opposite one. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes.
All right, that's still holding on. Then eventually you're gonna let go of this outside arm. So you really need to scoop your uh, tailbone under and not arch your back. If you arch your back, you're gonna fail and you're gonna come out of it. So I suggest you learn it from the ground first. Learn it with the mat because you could just fall straight down on your butt and then try it from a climb up. Try it from two climbs up, then climb it higher. But um, take it in increments <laughs> and try both sides. I like to think about looking for my crotch when I do it. So let me know how the teddy worked out for you guys. Let me know where you're at in your teddy journey. If you tried it before, if it's too hard for you, let me know of other tricks that you want to know about. I hope you guys are liking the series so far and I'll see you for the next one.